I'm pretty sure I just tore my elbow. The full planche, the test of strength, balance, and coordination using just about every muscle in the body to do something that genuinely looks impossible. And I mean, I like looking impossible. So I'm gonna see how quickly I can go never having tried a planche to doing a full planche for five seconds. I weigh in between 205 and 210 pounds and I stand at a staggering height of 5'11 and 3 quarters. Is that close? I would be considered quite large for trying this. I've heard those words before when I'm talking to myself. You're so big. <laughs> but for the planche, I actually believe it. Add in the fact that I don't have long arms, my ape index is one, and I don't have small legs. Damn, boy! It's a recipe for the planche not being my thing. Oh, but that's gonna make it all the more impressive when I get it, right? What I lack in humbleness, I make up for in being absolutely jacked. Oops. So, hopefully that alone will outweigh everything else. This is day one. That's pretty damn close. <laughs> I'm clearly delusional at this point. Some of you astute physicists may have noticed that the band is at my feet and it's pulling me backwards on these attempts. Both of these things kind of screw up the angle I'd have to lean to to get my feet off the ground. Once I realized that, I didn't think too much of these attempts. So after like 20 attempts, falling on my face and crushing my nuts multiple times, squish my nuts. I was just way too gassed to keep going and I didn't want to hey. overtrain. Hey, why don't you just click that subscribe button down there, you freeloader? You just get to help a guy out and you get more free shit. I know you like that. Just click it. I love you. The doms from definitely not overtraining were insane. This muscle on my back, I'm pretty sure it's the infraspinatus. It was sore for seven days. In my crippled state, I had time to plan. I got some parallettes because my wrist mobility is dog shit. And I stuck a hook into my ceiling so I could do band assisted holds with the band actually at my center of gravity. And for my workout plan, the common knowledge involved doing progressions from tuck planche to full planche, but I'm treating that like a gay guy in a ran right out the window. I wanted to mimic the position of the full planche as much as possible in my exercises. Things like planche leans, assisted holds, pseudo planche push-ups, and scapular push-ups were what I had in mind. I may find out later that this is not the ideal path for me, but for now, I gotta start somewhere. I started trying to figure out which band I should be using for assisted holds. The largest one wasn't enough assistance, so that was a bit of a kick in the nuts. It took me longer than I'd like to admit to figure out I could put more than one band on the hook at a time. But then I was able to go lower than the green band. I don't know why. Could be the terrible form though. Just remember, I don't know what good form feels like yet, so I have to watch the videos after and try to adjust the next time. Tip, if your parallettes are too slippery for good grip, put some hockey tape on. This is great. I kept hacking away, trying even harder, and still doing stuff poorly. Probably not a good idea at all, but I don't do things because they're good ideas. I do things because I'm an animal. But apparently, that's not good enough. Weight is apparently a big problem, and I got too chunky over the holidays. Fuck. So, I either needed to get stronger to compensate, or lose some weight. Ultimately, I decided I was going to lose some weight. The next thing I did to help myself was change to a more supinated grip. It's like crushing the inside of my wrist. If I do something like this, it might be a lot more comfortable. It ended up taking so much pressure off my wrist. It also allowed me to better protract my shoulders, so my form felt and looked so much better. It did put a little more pressure on my biceps, but those are naturally one of my strongest muscles. The supinated grip felt so good that on my sixth workout, I pulled off this bad boy. I was amped. That was pretty good. <laughs> a little bend in the arms, but I thought there'd be like two more workouts and I'd be done this challenge. I started doing attempts every workout in hopes that I'd just get it after a few days. I didn't. For weeks, I couldn't come anywhere close to replicating what I did in that sixth workout. Not even close. I wasn't even able to get myself into the planche position most of the time. I figured it must be because of the weight cutting zapping my energy. I felt weak and tired all the time. Screw this cut and shit. So I started actually eating again. Finally, some energy. 
I started hitting the workouts harder, but felt like I was still getting weaker. What the fuck? I should be getting stronger. I have the energy. I don't know how I've gotten worse at this over time. It is what it is, I guess. Then I realized something that would turn out to be the beginning of my final stretch through this skill. Okay. I think I just haven't been engaging my chest the entire time. All the time, I'm just thinking about moving my arm like this instead of down and backwards as well. Like almost like I'm trying to push the parallel this way. This might be a game changer. I felt way stronger when doing this, but it obviously wasn't gonna just magically make me get it out of the blue. Bitch. What it really did was get me thinking about the accessory exercises I was doing and what muscles I was working. I tried all kinds of different exercises and did them for a few workouts each to see if they'd actually work. Exercises to help with protraction strength, front delt strength, and straight arm strength. I even tried to learn how to do planche negatives from a handstand position. That went about as well as you'd think from someone who can't really do a handstand. None of these exercises ever felt like they were really activating the chest and serratus anterior for that pushing down motion in any kind of meaningful way. But even if they were, I didn't really have any way I could measure any kind of improvement in these exercises, so I didn't know if I was progressively overloading them and getting stronger. The exercises I was doing that I could reliably measure improvement in assisted holds and planche attempts weren't improving. Fuck. So I needed to change it up. I took some inspiration from a short by Dominic Skye where he suggests just doing weighted dips, overhead presses, and assisted or unassisted planche work, and that's it. These are exercises I know I can progressively overload, get stronger at, and they'll stimulate the muscles I need them to stimulate. Overhead presses are a classic front delt exercise, no explanation needed. The star of the show though, dips, are one of the best chest exercises there is. And I tweaked it a bit to work even better for the planche. Get nice and low into the stretched chest and front delt position at the bottom to promote more muscle stimulus. Then try to maintain protracted shoulders for the whole rep and at the top of the movement, protract even harder as if going into a tuck planche. But obviously not tucking the legs because of the giant steel nutsack in the way. I have never felt that kind of stimulus in my chest and serratus anterior. It's something else. So this is how my new workout plan looked. Five sets of three in the past has been my sweet spot for strength gains. In my next workout, I stopped doing the thing where I slide my feet across the ground to get into position and instead started bent at the hips and straightened out as I leaned forward. Sliding my feet wasted a lot of energy in my upper body because I had to actually like pull myself forward into the lean and then raise my body into position. Starting with the hips bent gave me the ability to assist my upper body while leaning forward. And then at the right angle, I could lift my feet and actually lower myself into position, which felt so much better. Between my new workout plan and this technique, the progress from my last workout to this one was unbelievable. Oh, that was pretty good. I was absolutely pumped about the progress, so I just kept going with my new setup. I ended up tweaking my chest just slightly during my second day of dips, and I felt like my left bicep was a little strained for my attempts lately, so I took it easy for a couple of days and let them heal up. When I came back for another workout, the attempts were even better than the last workout, and I was just feeling great. I wanted the five seconds to happen that workout, but I'd have to wait. Almost passed out right there. The bicep strain felt a little worse after this workout, so I didn't want to push it with dips and overhead presses. I just called it a day so I could just recover. Came back a couple days later and I was ready to kill it and complete this challenge only three workouts after starting my new workout plan. It was really effective for me. The first attempt was magical. I almost got to five seconds. <clears throat> Normally my first one's the worst one, so hopefully it only gets better from there. The second attempt lasted even longer. It was just over five seconds and I knew it. <clears throat> that felt like it must have been five seconds. Fuck yeah. Watching back the footage on my camera, I thought my arms were just a little too bent, so I wanted to give it another go while trying to keep my arms as straight as possible. Little did I realize, 
there was a reason I was reverting to slightly bending my arms. If you listen closely, you can hear it starting on the attempt I just did. I didn't hear it in the moment though, probably because my head is about to explode. So I went for my last attempt, and possibly my last attempt ever. I'm pretty sure I just tore my elbow. Shit. Fuck. Oh, no. I think I was able to drop before it did any serious damage. Can't be that bad. What's up? I mean, I heard something snap, so can't be good. Oh, man. I'm so stupid sometimes. I think I'm probably going to end the video there. I think I nailed it. Solid full planche. And then break my arm? Fucking sick. <laughs>